We're here at the gorge in Kloof where it's alleged that uh, a person was uh, thrown over the cliff. It's unclear at this stage the circumstances around the situation, but uh, a rescue tech are on scene together with SAPS Search and Rescue. We've got the fire department and EMRS paramedics on scene. And uh, we're just uh, busy lowering the ropes now down to where the guy's fallen and um, he'll be hauled to safety. If we get lucky, uh, we might be able to get Franz Hasbrook to come and uh, fly us out of here. If there's anybody out there that uh, is up at this time in the morning that can organize a couple of flasks of coffee for the guys, it'll be highly appreciated. Uh, Cornet, I see you've just joined the broadcast. I'm sure you're making plans in the background there. But it'll be great if we can get some coffee out here for the guys. They've been here since just after 3.30 this morning. Good morning Tristan, I think you're going to school just now, so hi Rob, Rob's just joined the broadcast. So we've got the guys now, as you can see there, they're just busy lowering the ropes. I'm um, sorry about the shaky footage, I'm on an unstable ground here. Yeah? Yeah, if you guys can make a couple of calls, uh, maybe if you know people in the spas and that, that can organize us coffee or the wimpies. Um, there's about uh, 30, 30 to 40 rescuers here, paramedics, volunteers, um, firefighters are here. It would be great just to get some coffee for the guys. It's going to be another beautiful day in Durban, but unfortunately our day starts with a rescue. Yeah, Tristan, it looks like uh, we got a report a guy, uh, so the blue security control room ref uh, heard from one of the uh, armed response officers that they could hear across the gorge, if you look across the gorge, there's houses there, and they could hear someone screaming in the gorge, like, screaming like a blue pig, and uh, then they notified um, the Kloof patrols. Uh, who notified our control room to dispatch me, which is uh, together with Rescue Tech now on scene. And we're currently on scene at the moment. You can see the guys are busy just checking their ropes at the moment. There we go. Yeah, good morning, Rick. Uh, Rick, while you're up, uh, don't you want to organize some coffee there, man? I know that you're a counselor and you, they say that you can organize. So, yeah, if you can organize some coffee, it'll be great. Uh, sweet, milky, and not too strong. Okay, so after watching this video, please uh, like and share. I'm going to go off air now because I need to save my battery for uh, official photographs. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, please, if you can, organize. Uh, tag as many people as you can so that we can get them out here. Thanks, Rick. You're a star. Good morning, Sean. I suppose you wish you were here. Uh, listen, I'll tell the guys to wait for you. you get your jackrabbit across and then, um, then we'll wait for you, Sean. Yeah, thanks, for the, thanks for supporting the broadcast. Morning. Come back now. Yeah, I've organised a little fly past. It's a little fly past I organised for you. Good morning, Quinton. Uh, we got Quinton live uh, here at the Cliff Coach.
Uh, pity. Uh, Sean says he would have joined us, but he's in Pretoria. Man, bugger. So, just going to quickly show you what the uh, rescue site looks like. Um, uh, we got so we got Dave at the top there with all his cars there, and then you can see all the vehicles. Kind of like. Come, Quentin. You got lights and siren. Bring coffee and come, boot. Slippery slopes, Tom. Yeah, good morning, Peter Burke. Uh, coming to you live from the Cliff Gorge where there's a rescue in progress. It's alleged a. Uh, Unknown person was heard screaming across the valley, and um, he says that he was thrown off the cliff, but that still has to be established, so it's unconfirmed at this stage. Good morning, Steve. Welcome to the broadcast. So the rescue has been in progress now. Rope's just gone over the edge. Um, they just no going way. through the final yeah. checks, and uh, yeah, the person at the bottom of the cliff face is uh, in the Stokes basket, and he will be uh, lifted shortly. So, thank you for watching the broadcast. I'm going to be running out of battery just now, so I've got to preserve the battery. We've got the guys here from Rescue Tech. Please like and share. Sorry, I'd like to also just invite and say thanks to. Uh, Brant and Rulin who have joined the broadcast all the way from Cape Town. Good morning Jason. And uh, Mark Taylor's joined the broadcast. So just going back to the cliff face now, we've got the guys at the edge. We've got uh, Colin Henry, Sergeant Colin Henry from the SAPS dog unit. Together with uh, Peter. And we've got uh, Matt. Stop, stop, stop. Shot, thank you, uh, Quentin, for your words of welcome. I've got to just negotiate, just I don't fall off here. Mm -hmm. um. I wish every time that sound played, it was like. Hundreds of thousands of rands going into my bank account. Okay. Derek, we live on Facebook. Uh, what's the update so far? Uh, so far, it was a 27 year old male. He's got multiple injuries apparently. He's been given morphine and some dextrose because he hasn't eaten for a while apparently. Um, rescue workers plus ER24 down there with the MRS. We've set up a hoisting system and then we're going to be hoisting the patient out of the gorge with the rescue. There you have it. Uh, we're going to be uh, terminating the broadcast now so we can save the battery. Um, like and share the broadcast and then we'll uh, update you as we go along. Thank you for your support. Thanks Jason.